Hey guys, Brian Tong here with CNET.com, and if you own a Mac, you're probably still frustrated that you can't play Blu-ray discs on it. Well, I'm here to show you how to back up and play those Blu-ray movies that you personally own, and the keyword here is own on your Mac and iOS devices. Now, the law still isn't crystal clear on this fair use issue, but the best rule is if you don't own it, just don't do it. All right, guys, now the first thing you'll need is a portable external Blu-ray drive, and you can find something like this Toshiba LightScribe Blu-ray player for around 40 bucks on eBay or Amazon. You'll also need a Mac, obviously, and if you don't have much space, I would recommend an external hard drive of your choice. The file sizes we're dealing with here are around 30 gigs plus, so I'm going large with my 3 terabyte beast. All right, now to get things started, you'll need a program called Make MKV. It's free, and you can get it directly from makemkv.com. Then connect the Blu-ray drive to your Mac. I didn't need to install any drivers. Insert your Blu-ray movie of choice. I'm going with Iron Man 2 and then launch the installed Make MKV application. It will automatically see the disc, click the Blu-ray to disc button, and it will scan the Blu-ray, and in a couple of minutes, it will create a list of titles. Now, the rule of thumb here is to only keep the largest file checkmarked in this list. That's typically the full movie, and usually around 30 gigs in size. But I know Iron Man 2 has a special version with all these factoids that's larger than the regular movie, so in this demo, I'll pick the slightly smaller 34 gig file. Now you can also click on the triangle next to the title and remove the audio and subtitle tracks you don't want if you choose to. Next up, select the output folder you want to send this file to and hit the Make MKV button and voila, it will start creating the MKV. This app strips off the copy protection from the movie and copies it into an MKV container that's a perfect copy of the movie with its original frame size and data rate. And the process will take several hours so you guys can go take a nap while you wait. When it's finally done, you can now enjoy your new movie on your Mac using the free and popular VLC media player from Videoland.org. But it can't be played on other devices just yet. This is where our good friend Handbrake comes in handy. It's a free app that you can download at Handbrake.fr, and once you launch the app, choose your source file, which will be the MKV file we just created. Then you'll have a list of several output options that are optimized for different devices, ranging from the iPhone to the iPad to Apple TV and even Android devices. Pick the one of your choice, but in this how-to, I'll just choose normal because it's the most universal. Press start, and Handbrake will convert the MKV into an MP4 file that you'll be able to copy into iTunes and then sync it to play the movie on multiple devices to enjoy on the go. So there you guys have it. I'm Brian Tong for CNET.com, and that's how you play the Blu-rays you own on your Mac and your iOS devices. Use it wisely. <laughs> oh.